Hi you guys! I thought that I would do a video where I show you all of my favorite things that I've ever thrifted. I'm not going to count anything from Depop in this video because I feel like that's a lot easier to find secondhand things. Although if you want a video of me going over everything that I've ever bought from Depop that I love, I will because there's many many cute things in there or in that I've bought from Depop. Anyway, in this video I'm going to be showing you clothes, bags, shoes, and even kitchen stuff. And this isn't even everything that I've thrifted, but these are just my highlights, my favorites, so you're gonna get all of that. I thought I would start off with clothes because that's something that I think most of us thrift on the daily. I have three things that I've thrifted that are Harley Davidson, but two of them I actually thrifted in person. One was from Depop. I don't know why I always go for Harley Davidson stuff. I think I just, well, I just love that kind of aesthetic and that, I don't know, it's really cute. It's just so nostalgic for me and not many people wear it and I think I like the uniqueness of it or at least girls my age don't really wear it that often so this is a quarter zip with a hood on the back a gray quarter zip and as you can see right there there's a little emblem on the back there's a Harley Davidson little emblem and then on the sleeves too you can see there's a little bit of like something there this one I wear so much I found this in Huntington Beach at a thrift store I just don't remember what it exactly was named. Some of this I've also gotten from the Melrose Trading Post, which that also is kind of curated, but also not. It depends on the vendor that you go to. So I only chose things from people who were selling like so much stuff that, and it wasn't like one specific theme, if you know what I mean. Because when you find those people, it's very easy, but there's nothing like going to somebody's little tent and they don't really know what they're selling, or at least like what might be trendy right now or kind of coming close to popping off. And so that's kind of what happened with this Harley Davidson bomber jacket that I got. It was in my first Vlogmas vlog when I went there and I found this for 30 bucks. First of all, at the Melrose Trading Post, a jacket like this, regardless if it had Harley Davidson stuff on it, would could easily go for like 80 bucks. But I saw this and the lady, she gave it to me for 30. I was so surprised. And yeah, it has a little emblem on the side. It's really cute. It's cropped a little bit. The last two clothing items that I want to show you are also so cute. I love a graphic tee. And I think that they're going to come back in full swing since this like 2000s more casual era is coming into style. The Y2K thing really came in full force as I'm sure we could have seen over the past couple years with like the bright colors and the pinks and the blah blah blah. But I think we're also gonna maybe get more into the muted tones that were actually worn day to day during that time. Like the clothes that would be worn in a show like One Tree Hill, that kind of vibe, you know what I mean? And these shirts also give me Penny T vibes from iCarly and that is just so iconic to me. This first one is I'm with Stupid but I love him. It is a little baby tee-ish, which I kind of am getting over a little bit just because it's so uncomfortable under my arms when it's so tight like there, but it fits perfectly everywhere else. It's really cute. There's also some nice contrasting stitching around the collar. The other t-shirt that I found thrifting one day was another one with like contrasting stitching, but it says Tommy Hilfiger or it's a Tommy Hilfiger t-shirt. I don't even know when it's from. It definitely is from a long time ago, but it's baby blue and has a little red, white, and blue sparkly lettering. It's cute. Next is purses. I have thrifted mostly or actually all of my purses and I love them. This is the first one that I ever thrifted actually just at a random Goodwill. It was in 2020 I know because this was a very like up and coming popular style bag was just the shoulder bags coming back. It's simple, she's light, she's easy, she's a dark purple with like just some reptile snakeskin pattern. I love her, she's an icon. One that I also found at a thrift store which was just another amazing find and could definitely have been priced way higher was this Ed Hardy purse. This one is one of my favorite ever things that I've thrifted. It's my baby. I love her. It carries so much. It has a logo on the front and then just cheetah print on the back. I think I even got that in my thrifting vlog from last January. So one year ago. Um, this was also at a Goodwill. The tag is even still on. I haven't used her yet. This kind of like bowling bag shape. This was only $5 and she's in perfect condition. A nice little lime green, like a light lime green with black leather. It's very roomy. I don't know why I haven't used it yet. It is a kind of a standout color. It's 
it's not very muted so you gotta style it a little bit more thoughtfully this is another one that also could have been priced ridiculously also got it when i got this at hardy purse was this nike bag i mean you go on depop and try to look for this and it would be like 200 bucks easily somebody could definitely get away with that it's just a beige and black true actual nike bag i don't know when they made this i've been like trying to figure it out it says october 17th but what year i don't know but it holds so much it's a little bit of a weird shape but why was nike making a purse in the first place i don't know she works though and i get a lot of compliments on it lastly was this a depop purchase no this was definitely an in-person one this is one of the only like really long purses that i own but it is i want you to be able to see this properly because oh look at that the inside is suede it's just made up of like old magazines this is a really cool bag it's made so nicely and she's fun she doesn't hold that much but it's more of a like if you saw it up close you'd be like oh my god that's the cutest little bag i've ever seen the only pair of shoes that i've actually loved that i've thrifted oh wait i have another pair two pairs i'll go grab the other one but first i got these for seven dollars my first pair of knee-high boots i got them in 2020 and they have been worn so the inside of the shoe keeps slipping because it's like coming off little black leather boots they're perfect they go with everything but i do have to get them fixed or do something about it because every time that i put my foot in here she's sliding around it has a square toe which like is okay but it does look a little oh there's a picture on my instagram from a long time ago where my shoe looked so funny because the picture was taken in 0.5 i'll put it here oh my god Okay, let me grab the other pair of shoes because I got them for a dollar. I can't believe I almost forgot about these. I got these purple leather mules from a garage sale for a dollar. They're so cute. They go perfectly well with this purse, which I got them two years apart and that was a miracle so I can wear them together. And they just go really well with like a pair of Levi's, I've learned. Really, really cute. Okay, lastly, these are all my newest furniture finds and I cannot wait to share them with you because they are so adorable and i can't i went to a goodwill when i went to virginia for christmas where i'm originally from and i mean look at these plates so cute oh my god they're like little tea plates with the most dainty pastel flowers there was a set of two so i got both if you are moving into a new place and you like obviously need the essentials thrift your kitchen stuff it is just so easy to clean and so many good cute finds continuing with the plate trend i got this ivory plate with this rose on it so cute so adorable there was two cookies and on that last night when i was baking and then another like a sister to that plate with these flowers on it i went to like put a really cute dessert on here and take a picture with it centered stop follow me on instagram because that might be up there one day and i'm sure we all want to see that <laughs> okay lastly i saved the best for last this is probably one of the most iconic things i've ever thrifted in my entire life and it was a dollar look at this little plate how how is this a dollar first of all second of all i'm just huh a little cow sitting by a pond with all these flowers i want to use this for so many things it can be a cute little dish tray for jewelry it can be used for food it can be used for just decor which is what it's being used for right now in our kitchen i love this so much and i would say that it's probably my number one favorite thing that i've ever thrifted even though it's getting no use just sitting in our kitchen it's getting plenty of use as it is a pretty sight for the eyes okay that is a run through of all my favorite things that i've ever thrifted hopefully you enjoyed this i love just showing off my thrift finds as i'm sure we all do because it's like a little scavenger hunt and it's all mostly unique to all of us one of a kind comment down below your favorite thing you've ever thrifted because i'm sure we all want to share and yeah i'll see you soon i'm gonna post a room tour soon so stay tuned for that because i just moved my room around and it's either the effect of feng shui or just the fact that i'm an amazing interior designer that my room is so comfy cute right now and i need to share okay i'll see you soon bye